Hi everyone. Once again, I'm here to discuss about equipotential surface, means the next part of electric potential. So within this video, we will learn about equipotential surface. Even we will learn about the properties of equipotential surface. Then we'll go for different type of equipotential surface and potential energy. And the last thing, potential energy of an electric dipole when placed in an uniform electric field. Okay, so let's proceed with the equipotential surface. What is equipotential surface? Equipotential surface are those surface in which electrostatic potential at every point is same. Means we can say any surface which has same electrostatic potential at every point is called an equipotential surface means we are considering a surface suppose this within this surface if we consider a point b point or c point if we can find that potential at each and every point is same if it is v then the here also v and here also v then we can say yes this surface is a equipotential surface means at each and every point potential is same okay now for equipotential surface we have to learn about the properties so before to start this properties let's discuss about some basic things like as the potential at each and every point is same so one can say to move a test charge from one point to another point suppose q0 is a test charge and we want to move it from a point to b point now work done to move this q0 charge should be equal to zero why because the potential is same that's why no work has to be done to move this q0 charge from a point to b point okay therefore work done is zero that means we can say force into displacement that should be equal to zero or you can say as q naught e dot dl vector that should be equal to zero for this okay remember these things uh, remember this equation let's find out some properties of this equipotential surface so properties so within this properties the first one is no work is done in moving a test charge over and equipotential surface that means according to this figure or let's draw once again this figure let us assume this is the equipotential surface within that suppose this is VA and this point is VB therefore one can say VB minus VA equal to WAB by Q0. Of course, we know these things. Means we want to bring a charge from B to A. Therefore, one can write VB minus VA that should be equal to 0. Why? Because VB is equal to VA. Hence, work done WAB should be equal to 0. Yes. This is the things by which one can easily say 
that no work is done in moving a test charge over an equipotential surface. Means uh, to move a test charge from A to B or any point uh, within this equipotential surface, work done should be equal to zero. That's all. Okay. The second point. Electric field E must be perpendicular to the equipotential surface. Yeah, that things also we can prove from the above equation, means this equation. We know for, for an equipotential surface Q0 E dot dl equal to 0 or one can write E vector dot dl vector equal to 0 or E dl of cos theta equal to 0. Now, E cannot be 0, DL also cannot be 0, therefore cos theta that should be equal to 0, that must be equal to cos 90 degree, therefore theta equal to 90 degree and this theta is the angle between E vector and DL vector, means if we consider this is the equipotential surface, then electric field is along this direction whereas DL vector is along this direction. Okay. Means this angle should be equal to 90 degree. So theta equal to 90 degree. Okay. Number three. This equipotential surface helps to distinguish region of strong field from those of weak field. Means Equipotential surface, equipotential surface helps to distinguish regions of strong field and weak fields. How? Very simple. We know E equal to minus dVdr. We know these things. There is no problem. Now, dV is constant for equipotential surface. Therefore, E equal to minus of constant of dr or one can write easily dr is constant by E or dr is inversely proportional to 1 by E. What does this mean? This equation represent that if R, this dr, if this dr is really very small, then electric field will be large. Means we can say that this equipotential surface, for this equipotential surface, if this distance is very small, then there will be a strong electric field. And if this distance is not small means if it is large then electric field will be a weak field okay so from this equation dr proportional to 1 by e one can say the spacing between the equipotential surface will be lesser in the region where the electric field is stronger and of course the vice versa okay the next things are properties number four one can say the direction of direction of electric field from the equipotential surface. How? We know E equal to minus dV dr. So from this equation one can say the direction of electric field is from the equipotential surface which are closer to each other to those which are more and more away from each other. Means Easily we can say that 
the electric field always directed always directed from the close equipotential surface to the away equipotential surface means the surface one can say close equipotential surface to away equipotential surface that's all now we will proceed with draw of equipotential surface so draw of equipotential surface so draw of equipotential surface means suppose a uniform electric field is this now what will be the direction of uh, what will be the equipotential surface so regarding these things one can say this must be the equipotential surface because within this surface this field are perpendicular okay and within this field uh, within this surface the potential at each and every point is same because it's a uniform field so this is a one equipotential surface simply one can say this is also the another equipotential surface like this way this is also the another equipotential surface and so on okay now what about this is the first figure number two what about the equipotential surface for a positive charge if we consider a positive charge this so around this positive charge remember equipotential surface must be a sphere like this means if it is a q charge and this is r then at this point v equal to k q by r here also v equal to k q by r because radius is same here also the v equal to k q by r similarly this is the first equipotential surface suppose there are another equipotential surface this in which the radius is r2 suppose this radius is r2 here also v2 equal to k q by r2 like this way here also the same thing means for a positive charge as well as for a negative charge the equipotential surface must be a sphere okay number 3 for two positive charge suppose this for this type of case equipotential surface near to this positive charge will be a sphere but when it will move a certain distance it is a sphere when it will move a certain distance at that moment this equipotential surface will slightly change means it will bend like this because this equipotential surface remember this equipotential surface here slight bending you can observe now this bending of, uh, of equipotential surface because at this point this equipotential surface you have to find for those two charges but near to this equipotential surface is mainly for this charge because here the field is actually for this charge but when we uh, take a point like this at that point the electric field have to be considered for this as well as this that's why this field or the, the, that's why this surface is changing even if we go um, much more then this equipotential surface will change like this and so on now let's proceed with the potential energy means electric potential energy so this electric potential energy of a system of a point charge is defined as the work required to be done to bring the charge constituting the system 
to their respective location from infinity means I want to say that if we consider a system suppose these are the system q1 q2 q3 within that a point suppose this now at this point the potential for this 3 is V then if we want to bring a Q charge from infinity to this point then whatever work we have to do that will give the electric potential energy for this point okay now uh, if it is V then electric potential energy W will be V into Q remember that this much only now potential energy of an electric dipole within a uniform electric field E so let us assume this is the electric field within that a dipole is there plus Q minus Q we want to rotate this charge means this dipole by an angle of theta suppose we want to rotate it from theta 1 to theta 2 ok therefore at first we know torque tau equal to P E of sin theta it's known I hope therefore work done to rotate the dipole by d theta angle dw equal to tau into d theta now tau means p e of sin theta d theta now what is p dipole moment e electric field sin theta d theta ok this is dw now if you want to rotate it from theta 1 to theta 2 therefore work done will be w that is theta 1 to theta 2 p e of sin theta d theta ok now p e of sin theta d theta within that P E will be out of integration sin theta d theta that is nothing but minus cos theta of theta 1 to theta 2 and hence it will change to P E of cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 ok now this is nothing but the potential energy U if we consider if we consider this theta 1 as 90 degree means initially suppose this dipole is situated here means this is 90 degree with the electric field then potential energy u will be p e up cos 90 degree minus cos theta therefore cos 90 this value is 0 so u equal to minus p e of cos theta that is nothing but minus p dot e this is the equation for potential energy for an electric dipole within a uniform electric field now this p dot E we consider that initially this dipole makes an angle 90 degree or perpendicular to the electric field ok that's all about these things or about this electric potential for dipole so up to this we came to know different type of potential for a single charge even for the multiple charges and for dipole also 
next video we will proceed with a capacitor so that's all from my side thank you have a great day